do you like the hatching of new desire yes. do you like the refinement that your life causes within you the always asking for more and are you at one with the idea that there will always be a new asking to which you are not quite up to speed do you get it that that's what eternalness is really all about so your life is serving you well then yes because it's causing frequent hatches <laughs> of new desires and so are you patient about the desire that is not manifested <laughs> well we don't want you to become complacent about it but when you understand that if this time space reality has caused you to focus a desire into being it can be what you want to call a see it hear it smell it taste it touch it reality in other words it doesn't just have to be a dream that you feel good about it can be a reality that you sleep with or park in your garage or <laughs> in other words we want desires to be born but we want you to be all right with the desire that hasn't manifested fully because we want you to be satisfied with the early manifestations of your desires and what are the earliest signs of manifestations more ideas coming more ideas coming the contrast of course is the earliest of all the contrast is what gives birth to it but once you've given birth to it you've got to begin to line up with it otherwise you can't realize it you won't recognize it you can't sniff it out you can't be on the trail of it you can't want it and doubt it and be moving toward it when you want it and doubt it you're moving away from it when you want it and feel nervous about it you're not allowing yourself to be in the receptive mode of realizing it and the reason that that word realize is such a good word is because your path is being revealed to you all the time in other words the source within you knows what you've asked for and knows where you stand in relationship to what you've asked for and is giving you continual guidance about how to close that gap between the wanting it and the full realization of it you have come into these physical bodies because you expected full realization of ideas that's why it is a time and space reality that's why you have these physical senses to translate the realism into its fullest form you're following us so when a vibration is translated by you the first thing that happens is you'll have a thought about it and in the moment that the thought comes you'll have an emotional manifestation which is the indicator of how on pitch you are vibrationally with your desire now your desires you launched incrementally you moved through life have been for quite a while you even have launched desires about your future life experience even before you came into this physical body so there was a well imagined path already in place that you intended to come into this body integrate with others and realize fully through all of your physical senses so when you got here your physical senses were working so well you didn't even realize that you were an expert vibrational translator you just thought that you were seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching you didn't realize that you were translating vibration into a reality well you've been banging around here for quite a long time and there are so many people who still don't realize that this is a vibrational universe and that you are first and foremost vibrational and because most don't realize that you are vibrational then most try to control the environment through action through behavior mostly through controlling others to get others to conform to your idea of what you want 
but it's really a rare person who really gets it that you are a vibrational being who has the ability to control your vibrational output through focus and that when you control your vibrational output you also control what comes into you in terms of a realized life because the law of attraction the most powerful law in the universe really the one we talk about mostly says that whatever you are vibrationally emitting is what is coming back to you because in your emanation you set a vibration that equals your receiving now we have not said that to you before do you know that you set your receptive mode by your transmission mode what you focus on is how you focus your dial so you can't be saying one thing and getting another you can't be thinking one thing and getting another you can't be feeling one thing and getting another the universe does not hear your words the universe is responding to your vibrational output so as you are offering this signal based upon what you are giving your attention to whether it is in the past as you are remembering it or in the present as you are observing it or in the future as you may be imagining it it doesn't matter you're doing it right now it's causing you to emit a signal now that signal equals your point of attraction now and the whole universe is queued up to respond to that vibration now the reason that we want to talk to you about vibration is not because we want you to be guarded about it right here right now in the beginning of you listening to us so often you would realize that you do create your own reality and first you would say oh good and then you would say oh no because <laughs> you realized you did not really have steady control of what you were emitting and then some of you as we said you create your own reality began going cancel cancel trying to suck things back before the universe got hold of them and delivered them to you <laughs> in full manifested form but now you are beginning to realize that you have leeway that yes you're offering vibration about wanted and unwanted but you stand in a stable place and so mostly what we want you to take away from this conversation is that you can be more practiced than most of you are being and the thing that would help you to emit the vibration the one you want to emit meaning the one that you want to be answered the easiest way to do that is by caring really caring about how you feel because when you care about how you feel you're alert to your emotions you're alert to your emotions which are your guidance system your guidance system which is giving you constant in the moment feedback between what you've asked for another way of saying that is all that you have already vibrationally become and what you're allowing yourself to realize in its full manifested form that is as clear as we've ever said it in other words you want to be aware of that gap and you don't need to think about closing it tightly all the time because you can't life is causing you to expand continually you're never going to completely close that gap so here's how it works you sift through life you know what you don't want which causes you to know what you do want you emit a signal about it and vibrationally speaking you become an integrated being with that new desire that you have discovered vibrationally speaking you become it we're going to stand over here in the vibrational spot in what we call the vortex or the vibrational reality you have become this newly improved version life caused you to become it oh you haven't manifested it yet most likely it's a new idea to you it's a new idea that isn't all that familiar it's a new and improved idea but the larger part of you the non-physical part of you that existed before you came into this body that still exists in the non-physical realm even though you're here in this body that part of you became that newly improved that newly expanded vibrational version that life just caused you to become but you're probably still standing over here in the same beliefs beliefs just a thought you keep thinking it's a habit of thought standing over here in the same beliefs that you held when you launched that rocket you're not ready to believe in your ultimate prosperity life caused you to want more money 
but you don't believe in the more money that life just caused you to ask for if you believed in it it would be flowing into your experience so we began talking about this vibrational reality and we called it your vortex we wrote a whole book about it wanting you to realize wanting you to accept that there is a vibrational version of you that you may or may not usually not completely be up to speed with and that vibrational version of you is calling you toward it it's calling because law of attraction is focused upon that new and improved version of you and law of attraction is summoning all cooperative components to it the question is are you a cooperative component to your own desire and the answer to that in many cases is no not yet I do not believe this thing I want I'm giving lip service to it life keeps showing me that I want it but I am we're speaking from your perspective often so wrapped up in the observation of what is because after all I can see what is I can hear what is I can smell it and taste it and touch it what is is so vivid what is is so vivid most of my vibration is about what is and we want to say to you that's a bit of a problem because if what is is so vivid you give your attention only to what is what is can't change much it's slow going have you noticed <laughs> so you've got to let go of what is a bit you've got to stop telling it like it is and begin telling it as you want it to be you've got to lighten up you've got to stop defending what is as if there is someone standing there saying why is that all oh, right your mother did do that to you didn't she <laughs> how'd you get there what are you doing there what are you doing what are you doing why did you do that why aren't you further down the road you've heard those questions and you've developed a pattern of answering them that comes out in your personality like defending yourself or like justifying yourself or like rationalizing and we want you to cut that out because every minute you spend in defense is a moment in resistance not in allowing it's in resistance not in receiving it's in resistance to the path that is calling you and that's why you feel negative emotion so some things you want to know first if the path were not calling you you would never feel resistance next if you hadn't asked for stuff the path wouldn't be calling you so if you weren't mixing it up and expanding then there wouldn't be an improved version of you calling you forward but since there is and since you can't change that since you are eternal beings since there is a source within you since there is a source within you who knows all that you have become who is calling you and other cooperative components to these focused points of realization ah you rendezvousing with the things along your path that's what life really is you see it's not just the final destination that you're rendezvousing with you're rendezvousing with all the fun along the way you get to rendezvous with the new idea you get to rendezvous with the new and improved version you get to rendezvous with the others who are ready to play with you that's what you signed up for that's what you wanted that's what you said you are about you are deliberate creators genius creators here in the best environment ever launching rockets of desire all day every day and often holding yourself back from what you have expanded to be